Now then, Kerrigan. Perhaps you had best explain yourself. What is this news you've come to give? There is a new Overmind growing on chart. What? Impossible. Why should we believe anything you have to say? Because, Zaratul, I'm no longer the mindless murderess whom you fought on Char. The Overmind is dead. Whatever warped control it once had over me is gone. I know that this is a lot to take in all at once, but you've got to believe me. There's more at she stake here. She lies. She is infested to the core. I, for one, will not listen to any of Silence, this. Silence, Judicator. Continue, Kerrigan. Apparently, many of the renegade Cerebrates, commanded by Dagoth, have merged into a new Overmind. Fortunately, the creature is still in its infant stages. It can't control the swarm yet. But Dagoth and the others still have control over most of the broods. The two Cerebrates you killed here were part of Dagoth's forces. Look, I don't need to tell you all what might happen if that thing reaches maturity. I can guarantee you that should it awaken, It'll take full control of me, just like it did before. I don't want that to happen, and I'm pretty sure you don't want it to happen either. Even if what you say is true, our priority is to save this world, not assault the new Overmind. We must find the crystals Urash and Kallus before we are all vanquished. Then I'll help you with your search. If you can defeat the renegade Zerg gathered here, it'll weaken the efforts of Dagoth and his ilk. My children, you must put aside your fears and misgivings to accomplish what must be done. For the time being, Kerrigan will assist you in your endeavors. Though she has been your enemy, it is enough that we share the same agenda now. Allow her time enough to prove herself to you and you may find her to be a valued ally. For now, you must focus on the task at hand. Search for the Urosh on the planet Braxis and let nothing stop you from recovering it. We will do what you ask, Matriarch. But you cannot expect us to forgive Kerrigan's crimes against our race. Executor, prepare our forces. We shall debark for the planet Braxis before the next moonrise. Explain something to me, Zeratul. Why would your people leave such a secret crystal in the hands of these Terrans? We didn't. Long ago, this world was a Protoss colony called Kirador. When the strife between our tribes escalated, this planet and the Urash crystal were abandoned. These Terrans had come here only recently. The crystal's here, boys. Send in a probe to gather it up, and our work here is done. You have done well, Kerrigan. There's more to you than it seems. Perhaps I have misjudged you. Given our history, I can't say I blame you. Let's just get the job done. Executor. Our sensors have just identified a large group of Terran vessels. However, their configuration profile is unlike any Terran group yet encountered. We are receiving a transmission from the fleet's command ship, identifying itself as the Alexander. Propos Commander, I am Admiral Alexei Stukov of the United Earth Directorate. We are here to take control of the Terran Dominion and all of its outlying colonies. You are in direct violation of Terran space and have openly attacked Terran troops. Lower your shields and power down your weapon systems. The UED will be taking custody of your ships and whatever spoils you have garnered from this planet. United Earth Directorate. Raynar spoke of the distant Terran homeworld called Earth. These humans have come a long way to make war on us. Have faith, Zeratul. You almost sound as if you fear these humans. What are they to such as we? Was it not we who defeated the dreaded Overmind? Yes, Sartanus, we did vanquish the Overmind. But we did so with the help of humans. Do not be so quick to underestimate them. Of course. Executor, I shall test the mettle of these humans by scouting ahead of your ships and finding a way through this blockade. In Toro Tassadar! Executor, 
The Urash is secured, and the UED has given up the chase. We are currently holding perimeter orbit over the planet Char. Zeratul, have you locked onto the location of the Callus? Yes. I remember sensing his power the last time I was on this world. However, our sensors indicate a massive, fluctuating energy signature at its location. I am, however, unable to identify the signature's source. That should be obvious, gentlemen. The source is the Overmind itself. When the Cerebrates merged together, they must have locked onto the Callus energies and nested near it. It's probable that there will be a number of broods protecting that area. It's risky, but if we can strike hard and fast, we might be able to fight our way through their defenses and escape with the crystal. Comrades, I may have an alternative. Seeing as how the Overmind is still in its infant stages, I wonder if we might be able to disrupt its control over those broods. If we can do enough superficial damage to the creature, it might pacify the Zerg nearest to it, allowing us some time to retrieve the callus. A bold plan, young Artanis. Your courage rivals that of mighty Tassadar himself. You give me too much credit, noble Zeratul. I am not worthy enough to even speak his name. Touching. Look, boys, either of these plans will work, but let's not waste any time. I'll be able to exert limited control over a few of the Zerg here and provide you with some backup. But the longer we stay, the more we risk losing both the crystals again. Agreed. Executor, deploy your forces. May Adun be with you. Executor, the callus is ours. Let us depart this wretched world and return to Shakuras. Provided there is still a Shakuras to return to. Congratulations, Executor. Your success has brought us the promise of hope against the Zerg. However, we face a new threat within our own ranks. In your absence, Judicator Alderis and an entire legion of Kali survivors from Ayr have begun an open revolt against us. By the gods, this is ill news indeed. Why would Elderus betray us so? He and his ilk believe that it was wrong to have abandoned Ayr and consorted with our people. Their prejudices have driven them to perpetuate the Conclave's sins against us. Even now, Alderus and his loyalist Templar forces are preparing to attack our citadel. I can scarcely believe this. As if the Zerg were not enough. Matriarch, are you certain of this? All too certain, young Templar. Executor, as Matriarch of the Dark Templar and custodian of this world, I hereby order you to terminate Judicator Alderis and quell this untimely uprising without delay. There will be no dissent among us while the Zerg are poised to strike. There's something amiss here. The Matriarch has always been a wise and gentle soul. Though there is some merit in her decision, this is very unlike her. That may well be. But right now we have a friend to kill. May I do forgive us.